experience in life. Okay, they already have me riled up. The Morning Bullpen from 100.3 The Bulls teaming up with pause, give us pause to make a difference in the lives of a disabled veteran in a huge way. Yeah, George Moe and Eric are joining us in studio with more on how we can all get involved giving a service dog to a veteran. First of all, y'all never met each other. I guess because you're both live on the radio. At the same yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. At the same time. Well, I'm glad y'all could meet today. Yeah. And uh, it's so great to have the three of you back. The last time you were here, you were doing 10,000 letters for 10,000 troops. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. And you ended up doing how many letters? 76,000. Uh, we we six shipped out nuts. to troops overseas. Yeah. It's wow. incredible. Everything that you do, whether it's supporting troops or veterans, what is in the DNA of 100.3 The Bull that has you always giving back to this community? You know what? We like to say it's the spirit of Bull Nation, and, and it really reflects Houston and the spirit of Houston. Texas proud in everything that we do, and there's just something different. I always tell people if every state could be as proud <laughs> to be from, from their state as Texans are to be from Texas, so I think that's in our DNA. Absolutely, you know? yeah. absolutely. You won't find people with, like, Tattoos of Vermont, this, or, or, or you know, no, I mean, no, no drama no to Vermont, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but this project that you guys are doing right now is is super cool because it's normally something that a veteran wouldn't be able to do on their own at all, right? It Mo? costs yeah. a lot of money to have a service animal trained, and the process um, takes a long time. So it's a, a a really hard process, but we're happy to be able to help some veterans. And our goal, one pet for one vet. We started last year. That was our goal. Okay. And then Houston stepped up. Of course. Y'all, we ended up with 18 service animals. Oh, wow. wow. It was insane. We had no idea that it was going to get to that point. So now it's time this year. We're starting again fresh. One pet for one vet is our goal. Wow. Okay, but hopefully many more than just yeah. one vet will be touched with this. Um, Eric, what's the feedback been like over the past year as you've seen some of last year's recipients move through yeah. the world and move out into the world, maybe to places they weren't going without their service animal? Yeah, I, honestly, I get emotional. Like, I'm getting emotional just thinking and talking about some of the people we've met over the last week because we have really gotten to know the people who benefited from this money last year. We've met people who hadn't left their house and until they got their service animal oh because ah. when they left the military they kind of felt forgotten they felt lost uh, one of our friends Natalie she served in the armed forces she said she felt like an alien just mm -hmm. out in public uh, with the public sector until she got her dog who creates a safe space a barrier for her wherever she goes so she feels like somebody quote has her six everywhere she goes wow. that's amazing and yeah I mean when you talk about veterans like they've done so much for us right. you feel like you owe them so this is a really cool way but there are actually monetary donations so like 20 bucks gets them a treat can you break that down for us yeah it's actually really simple $20 donation buys treats for uh, training okay that'll get you through a whole session of training for one dog, so a $20 donation. A $50 donation gets the dog the official service vest. These are not just companion animals or anything like that. These are service animals. They have the official vest, the leash and everything for training. And then $100 covers everything that the dog needs and as we said before, this training is absolutely free to veterans. We pay for everything. And the $20, $50, and $100 goes for help, helping make sure the dog has everything it needs. It's wow. incredible. So yeah. veterans don't pay a thing. You mentioned, Mo, that training for the dog is pricey. People don't mm -hmm. realize, perhaps, just how expensive it is to prepare an animal to do this type of work. Yes. About how much does it cost? About $5,000 okay. for the whole process. Yeah. yeah. And it can take, like, about a year. It depends on the pet. One of our favorite parts about um, Give Us Paws is that they they let the veterans bring their own dogs. So the dogs that they already are madly in love with oh. get to go through the training process. Yeah. So this is one of the reasons why we picked them. They're all this money staying in Houston and with their own dogs. So can you imagine like having uh. that relationship already with your pet and then being able to train them to help you out every day? It's so cool. And then the dogs just learning so much and being able to serve and be yeah. that companion because yeah. that's really right. They are our greatest. Yeah. They're our yeah. best friend. Eric, how cool, I mean, Mo kind of touched on it. How cool is it to know that all the money is staying local right here in just the community that you talk to every morning. That's what, I mean, the bull is all about being Texas proud. So we wanted to make sure that we worked with a charity that was Houston based. And Paul, who started Give Us Pause, he lives right here in Houston. And he's got a brick and mortar training facility, which is unlike a lot of places. A lot of places will train a dog. They'll bring you the dog. They'll drop it in your lap and let's hope it works out. But with Paul, 
He brings the veterans into his facility and it gives the veterans a sense of purpose too. They've had a mission for years and years and years and now they're left out in the world with no mission. Now their mission is to train alongside their dogs. It's really amazing. You have to go see it for yourself. That's it's cool. so beautiful and the three of you are so passionate about yeah. this yeah. cause and so many causes. I think that's infectious. Your viewers love you. We love you. <laughs> I think it's great that you're constantly giving back and for you know anyone who went through the drive through this morning, $7 for a cup of coffee. Right. Yeah. These are amounts, 20 bucks here, 50 bucks, 100 yep. bucks, whatever you can give, it really does add up into a life-changing, beautiful gift. So yeah. thanks to the three of you. Thank, Thank you. you. It starts Monday morning, 6.30, uh, tune in to the radio. That's when we kick it off, and Paul will be in the studio to talk about the mission, and we're looking real forward to it. It's a whole week dedicated to our veterans here in Houston. So I right. love that. Houston always shows Tessa up. Tessa will be always. listening to the radio Just Monday like, morning. Maybe, maybe, through maybe through the app. Maybe through the app. We won't mention anything. George, <laughs> Mo, Eric, uh, the morning bullpen on 100.3 The Bull. Thank you so much. Thanks for everything you yeah, do for Houston. You. We thank do you. appreciate it. And to connect with the gang and learn more about how you can help them give one service dog to one veteran times hopefully a whole lot. Yes. A whole lot. Look for the scene on Houston Life section of our website, HoustonLife.tv. Awesome. Well, coming